It's only ho when you're around. Oh! How's, uh, how's Witcher 3? It is so pro. You should definitely watch my stream of me being pro at it. You have a stream? Of course I have a stream. On what, Twitch? Yeah. You know, I could request on Steam to watch your, your gameplay. You could do that. And I would allow. Okay. I'm gonna do that. So I heard a theory, a rumor, I don't know if this is true, but uh, apparently the drifters will remember you're standing with them. That means that if you attack one of their ships in a different system, they will remember you and next time when they see you, they will actively engage you, is that true? Well, I know they remember their standings in general. I've seen, I've seen kill mails of people getting killed in Jita because they had shitty standings. Like they undocked in Jita and just got blacked. <laughs> so yes, so I assume it's true. That is awesome. That is pretty awesome. You know, I can't wait to see like the you know how drifters like to go after people in Mentosis links. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to see that a stupid FC or some big fleet will order to engage drifters when drifters are attacking the guy and tossing the the station. And then four drifters would just blather hopefully. That will be so epic. Like, oh my god. That is YouTube worthy. It's YouTube pro the. Is that what it said? Okay. Is that what I would say? I don't know if what I would say anymore. You sound confused. I've never been confused in my whole life. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Not even you when you were uh, studying calculus. Not even then. Pro. I was just I like was boom. Two plus two equals four. Done. <laughs> I was confused the whole time when I uh, tried to study chemistry. Oh my goodness. Chemistry is worse. Chemistry. Horrible. Chemistry is the the class I came closest to failing throughout my academic studies. I just didn't get it. Me either. So confusing. I couldn't balance the equations, like, what? Okay, so you got pH 4 on this side, pH 6 on this side. What is the difference? And it's like, it, it seems like it, it should be pretty simple, like, addition and subtraction, more or less, or something. But I just, I had, I was so bad, I, uh, I failed so many tests in that class. I think I got passed out of mercy. Yeah. Well, there were some like basic rules that I could comprehend, but mm -hmm. as the course progressed, it just didn't make sense. But um, one of my best friends, Eve, actually teaches chemistry in, in, in real life, so he's really disappointed in me. But it's okay. Yeah. Well, that's weird. In one of the Witcher schools, a bunch of the Witchers are elves. I didn't know that non-humans could be Witcher. Interesting. Did you play the first and second of Witcher? I did. So you know the whole story and the lore? Well, I didn't read all the books, so I don't know the whole story and the lore. But I'm, you know, I'm fairly up on the setting. That's good. 
So, say, if someone completely new to the games, uh, like me, mm -hmm. can I play Witcher 3 without being so confused? Yes, because Baffled. they make, uh, like, uh, references to stuff that happened in the background. Like, there will be political events that happen in The Witcher 2, where it's like, this person fought this person, this person did that, and that sort of set the stage for this game. But it's not like three stories split up into, it's not like one story split up into three games where it's a direct continuation of that plotline. It's like the plotlines from the previous games sort of set the stage for the plotlines in these games. But knowing them is instrumental to understanding the plot because for the most part, they're background, they're background noise. For the most part, the core storylines of each game are uh, independent of each other. And if you really want to know everything, there's a little codex that explains everything. That was, so it'll get updated. So when you meet a character, if Geralt already knows that character, they'll be like, two or three paragraphs about them and if oh. you want to uh yeah you know what i'm saying like and it, then if you want to know more you could uh, a, as the game goes on and you learn more about that character the, their codex will update so you meet a character his name is john and and Garrett Gar Gar already knows john right so it'll be like but john was an asshole and Garrett wanted to kill him because he was jerk i was like okay and then you uh, you do a mission with John, and then John's like, I'm not so much of a jerk, I'm nice sometimes. And then it goes like, Jarrett was like, John is nice sometimes, so maybe he wouldn't kill him, but mm, who knows. Okay. Now, the thing is, I want to play the game, I want to buy it, but I'm not sure if it's doable when I brought my PS4 from the States, and I want to connect to the internet here in China. I don't know if this store still works the same because I'm in a different region. Yeah, I could imagine it might work somewhat ah. differently. It is so confounding. Speaking of confounding, where's Roy? Oh, I woke up uh, pretty late or pretty early, as it were. I woke up almost uh, like an American uh, person would wake up. <laughs> so, okay. I'm not sure where Roy is. He seems uh, pretty aloof these days. Uh, he's generally fairly aloof. I mean, he goes, he'll be like super enthusiastic and then he'll be like super blase or whatever, going back and forth throughout he's his mood. Is, oh, is that Royaldo? No, it's not Royaldo, it's me. It's your favorite person. You're basically Royaldo, though. You're both from Sweden, so... No, no, no. You're, you're both wrong. I mean, both counts, actually. Uh, oh, but, uh, almost certain. Yeah, yeah. That he's the president of Sweden, and you're the vice president. Mm, yeah, Can't okay. fool me, sir. You Swiss dog. Okay, you got him. You got him. That's what people I from Sweden are called. They're called Swiss. Don't let anyone tell you different. Mm -hmm. You're, uh... Yeah, you're right. I'm always right. Not always, but uh, time, sure. Like, uh, I would say I'm right 105% of the time. Just mathematically. So, mm -hmm. Whatever. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. So how are you doing, KF? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing amazing as huge. As huge, eh? As huge, mate. We're just talking about Royale, though. Oh, he's a bitch. He's talking about how Dota's a bitch. And talking about how oh, awesome okay. I am at The Witcher 3. In addition to all other games and endeavors. I recall you doing or spending like uh, four hours or five hours spending on a puzzle in Witcher 3? Uh, that's definitely not true. That definitely didn't happen. As a slanderous lie, I have video okay, recorded okay. evidence of it. Yesterday? What did you do yesterday? What did I do yesterday? Yes. Um, Could you go a step and help me, you know, step through your day? Yes, what you did. Uh, step by step. Okay, so um, I woke up, right? Yeah. And I, and I eat breakfast. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good. I can't then do it without breakfast. I played some games. Have? Well, I had bacon and uh, scrambled eggs in a nice. sandwich with ketchup, mm -hmm. salt and pepper. It was chill. Not the most amazing breakfast I've ever eaten. But it was the most chill breakfast I've eaten in a while, but that's because oftentimes I won't really eat breakfast, you know what I mean? 
Breakfast is the most off skip meal of the day. You know, historic. Yeah, it is with me. But um, so I ate breakfast, and then I uh, I played some games. I played some with the dying light. It was pretty okay. good. I farmed up some uh some air some air supply drops. I uh, I did nice. some main story missions and some side story missions. The thing is, is when I was farming up the air supply drops, I was stashing them because I plan on giving them to my brother because it's a co-op game. So I didn't give them to my wow. brother to like artificially level him a little bit. Right. Right. Yeah. User joined your channel. And then, um, then I went to the movies. It's Which the movie? best Chihuahua ever in the whole world. My favorite. The best races ever. Hello, Claire. Actually, Claire was Hello, in the Claire. channel when Black gave the brief. He can oh. give you the minutes. Yeah, Claire. What what did Black Lord say? Um, I was AFJ. Oh my lord. Oh, oh. my god. How about you, sir? Come on. Was anyone there from here at this channel? I'm afraid I was not. Uh, they they started yep. talking, and this girl that I'm kind of interested in started texting me, so I started texting her back, and <laughs> lost all interest. It hit me. Uh, that's okay. Uh, that is so pro. That so is pretty pro. pro. Sorry guys, it's hose before bros for me. We know. Did you, did you succeed in your hosing? Uh, last night, but I'll probably get late tonight. That's cool. Up success. Yeah. So, Operation Hose before bros. Aren't you laid all the time though? No. Uh, no, actually I'm sitting up right now. Close enough. Oh. Called laid out, ch chillax, maxing, and other she, she things. She thinks the wheelchair is hot because it's got reclined. Oh, that's pro. Oh. You tell her you got the... Uh, Fire stripes and everything on it. Hot rod stripes. Sorry, I must have walked on you. Say that again. You got the hot rod stripes on it. Uh, no, actually, it's a carbon fiber shell. So put the fire stripes on the side to make it go faster. Yeah, everyone knows. Add Nitrous. at least one flame. Nitrous. Nas. Nitrous. Yeah. Nas, whatever. As my at as my homie thing, Paul Walker would say. Your speed twice. It's Got Nas in it. But they should bring Paul Walker back to life so that they could continue making the Fast and Furious movies without having to write around him not being alive. That'd be pro. Uh, they Fast and Furious. Do that. Can they do that? I assume they could do that. You know, like half the movie is CGI. Oh, not half. Not half. It's, it's like scenes. you could tell what scenes they had to CGI around. Yeah, because footage. Yeah, the because last one. The very, very last. One. Oh, the the last one was a lot. Because um, like like in some scenes he'll have fight scenes where you can see his face the whole scene. And then in some mm -hmm. scenes it'll be like kind of in the dark, and it's a lot of quick cuts where you're mostly seeing his opponent. And when you see him, it's like a reaction shot of him reacting to a hit that could be stock footage from another scene. But yeah. I think they did a pretty good job. I mean, honestly, it yeah. could have been terrible. All the way until the end. Uh, at the end, I realized, like, look, okay, this, this looks fake, but okay. Yeah. At the end, it's like, okay, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's what they're going to do with me die. when I die. When I die, Royale is going to give my account to someone, a new person impersonator, so no one will know. It's going right. to be pro. You got someone who do, can do your voice? I, I think I'm a pretty easy person to person. Smooth Criminal does a decent it's, job. It's just gonna be me. I'm sound. I'm soundboarding him from just recording ah. him every day, and then I'll soundboard him from here on out. Oh, All you should, need there is. There you go. You're a bitch. Love. You're a scrub. Back. It, so pro. You're a racist. That's basically. <laughs> it. That's it. That's and it. You're, you're good for life. And they can ask you, "What's what your favorite color?" You're a racist. There you go. Oh my god, that makes sense. Like, it got an answer for every single thing. That's every so true. Response. That is how I would respond to it if someone asked me what, what my favorite color was. I would call them racist. Like, nobody already knows, but uh, we're already talking to a soundboard. Oh, how dare you. That too. Oh, that's how the other dare one. You. How dare you. Fun of me. Variations of that, how dare you. You guys are just jealous of my pro skills. Clearly. In, uh, in what way? 